Ah, oh, no hands. Oh, look at that. No feet either. What's going on, guys? I've got a feeling the wind noise is going to be fucking horrendous. So I'll get into the city where it's a little bit slower and quieter. Well, I'm taking the 2019 Freewheeler, and I didn't say that with a list or anything. That's what it's called, Freewheeler. I'm gonna take this bad boy for a ride. This is the first for me, guys. I've never ridden a trike before, uh, especially not with a 114 cubic inch engine in it. So this thing's got some ponies. So before I took it away from Sun City, I, I asked Nick and did a little walk around and showed us a few things like how to get reverse gear to work and all, all that sort of stuff. Uh, how to turn the ABS off in case you want to do some fully sick drifts and burnouts, which I will not be attempting. As this thing is fucking very different to ride. If you haven't ridden one before, you really got to steer it. Like, obviously, you don't lean doesn't fucking do anything yeah you gotta steer it and it fucking goes straight away so let's find somewhere cool to pull up and and have a bit of a walk around and I'll show you now we're in the Sun the paint on this thing is just dead set amazing the metallic in it fuck ya yeah. It's just beautiful, like, I'm a big fan of the colour blue, so this is a big tick for me, I like that. What I'm not a fan of is fucking roadworks. Hate that shit. Now, while I was there at the dealership, I was having a wander around, as I do, seeing what's cool and new. And the FXDR has arrived. Now I know everyone's sick of seeing the fucking ugly bikes and all the uh, launch pictures and test rides and reviews, but Sun City spiced it up. This is not your standard ugly fucking terrible looking FXDR. This thing looks fucking cool. So I'll put up a couple of preview pics here. Now you'll see on this one that ugly ass rear fender has been removed and Mark the boss man there spent hours um, cutting and these are totally custom done lights. So you'll see where the indicators are in the photo. But yeah, it just neatens up that back end and makes it look like a really tough bike. Um, the intake, which is the size of a Ford Ranger standard, has been taken off and they've put a nice Screaming Eagle one on which is uh, very similar to the one on my bike so I'm a fan of that it does have a Bassani 2 into one pipe on it and they're a 114 man so it's gonna hammer so once they're finished um, tweaking it and changing it a little bit they're gonna throw me the keys and I'll, I'll do a test ride on that so that should happen next week sometime so Keep your eyes peeled if you want to see an Aussie review on an FXDR. But anyway, back to the freewheeler. I can't help saying that in like a kid with a lisp accent. The freewheeler. I want to get in there. Can I get in there? I don't think I can get in there. Let's try. Got a really cool mural on the wall I want to get photos with. How are those fuckers getting in? If I get in there, I don't know if I'll be able to get back out. And that's probably not cool.
I just really wanted that in the background. Because where else do you see a turtle riding a crocodile? Only in Townsville. Alright, well, fuck it. Let's just park here and we'll do it here. Alright. So we got our cool background. Let's take a photo for the thumbnail. So here it is guys, 2019 freewheeler. Now with an F, I don't have a, uh, a lisp, that's actually what it's called. But it does have three wheels and gives you freedom. So freewheeler, you get it? So uh, from my first opinion of it, Road King from there forward, trike back, this is removable, apparently, it's as easy as that, so, let's put this here, remember not to forget it, now look at that, look at this paint, that is unreal, sort of fat boyish front end, headlights a bit different, 114 cubic inch beast six speed trans does have reverse what is that fucking steering dampener or something I don't know what that is yeah, this is pretty cool you can fit lots of beer in here look at that don't know if you'd fit a 30 pack but you'd definitely fit a normal carton in there all right, so now you've had a good look, let's just go for a burn. Then we'll go back to the shop. I really went there to ride the FXDR, but they're not finished with it yet. So I thought, eh, fuck it, why not? All right, let's get on the road. I can nearly forgot this. That would have been real handy when I got back. Okay, what'd you think of it? Where's the fucking windscreen? Alright, now we can go. Man, it just feels weird. Oh, fucking hell. So this is more like a joy ride than a test ride review. I'm not going to blab on. Let's just go for a burn. Come on, let's go. Oh, I'm getting the hang of the steering pretty quickly. It was very awkward to start with, but it's pretty nice now. So very fucking windy day on the water. That would suck. Unless you're a sailboat. And that's probably fucking awesome. So 31 degrees here today. Bugger all clouds. Nice and windy, so good riding day. It's hot, but it's um, comfortable. As long as you're moving, the breeze keeps you cool. That, this big fucking windscreen stops everything. Now Nick was saying you can get a smaller one too, guys, if you are, are in the market to buy one of these things. You can get one down to about here. If you don't like looking through them, if you want to see over the top. Doesn't worry me. This seat is comfy. These, all these new ones, all the uh, the new soft tail range, all have fucking really comfortable seats, standard. Which all the older ones, like all the Donners and all the old models, you know, the seats were shit. That was like one of the first things you needed to change when you bought one. But 
Not the new ones, they must have gel in them. I'll have to ask Nick. Look at that, eh? Beautiful. Four hundred and forty-six kilometers. Brand spanking new. It's actually pretty fun. Still find myself trying to lean with it. Does not help it at all. <laughs> no splitting lanes with this fucker. You are kidding. All right, let's go. Here we go. Still recording? Yeah, buddy. It is good beer weather today. If it does cruise control. I don't know, yes it does. Hey! Oh yeah, how good is cruise control? You could dead set, you could steer this with your feet. <laughs> Have a fucking go at that! You can literally drive it with your feet. Can't do that on a diner. <laughs> this will get some fucking funny looks. Let's reach into your bag, get out your cutting board, bit of bread, bit of bread, put some Vegemite on. There you go, you can have lunch on your road trips. Have a drink here. Ah. Sorry guys, I'll buff those indicators. Alright, let's cut to the highway. Now this sucks. I can't even sneak up there. Well, I probably could, but I don't know how wide I am and... I don't want to have to fix this paint because it looks like it would be expensive. I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh dear. Of this thing definitely sucks a lot of power out of it but still goes man for whatever these things weigh i'll um i'll look that up and i'll put the weight on the screen for you purely for shits and giggles what do we got here geezer glide oh it's a fucking cvo one it is Oh, 
that is cool. Look at the logo on the tank. Fuck, I love that. I'll put one of them on mine. One day when I'm a grandpa and I get a bagger, that's what it's going to be. One of them. Alright, well we're nearly back at the dealership. Time to give it back. Final thoughts on a trike. Never ridden one before. Was it fun? Shit yeah, it was fun. They're totally different. Oh, fuck yeah. Totally different bikes to ride. And if you had like bad legs or a disability of some sort, still wanted the, to feel the wind in your face, obviously take that off, but man, this is a great option. You don't even know it's a trike from where you're sitting, you know? You're looking ahead and you're on a motorbike. And that's what it's all about. So here we go. Look at the big chair, I'll have to get a photo of that. But we're back at the dealership. Thanks guys for letting me ride this. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do that. And I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.